Hello, everybody. My name is Matthias Zeller, and I welcome you to my presentation of the paper Radar Instance Transformer for Reliable Moving Instance Segmentation in Sparse Radar Point Loads. The awareness of moving instances in the surrounding of a self driving vehicle is essential for safe and reliable autonomous mobility in real world environments. Cameras and LIDARs made tremendous process in scene understanding in recent years and are useful sensors most of the time. However, to detect moving objects, often multiple images or sequences of LIDAR scans are needed to be processed to identify moving instances. This leads to latencies, which is disadvantages for tasks requiring immediate feedback, such as collision avoidance. Radar sensors overcome these limitations and directly provide the Doppler velocity, which enables the identification of moving objects in single scans. Furthermore, radar sensors provide radar cross-section values, which depend on the surface, the material, and the shape of the object, which helps to differentiate between moving agents. A serious drawback, however, is that the radar scans are largely affected by noise due to the multipath propagation, ego motion, and sensor noise. This is indicated by all the measurements with Doppler velocities besides the actual instances. The noisy measurements frequently lead to false positives and limit the performance. However, noise is often directly identifiable in the temporal domain. As you can see here, within the consecutive scans, noise appears and disappears as seen by the jumping velocity vectors. Therefore, temporal information is important to identify noise. However, the processing of aggregated scans through the whole network leads to latencies, as mentioned before, and therefore an optimized module is required. State-of-the-art methods often address the task of moving instance segmentation separately as moving object segmentation and instance segmentation. To overcome this and address the difficulty that all objects belong to the same semantic class, we further propose an enhanced clustering approach to incorporate essential instance information within our network. The overall architecture of our radar instance transformer can be split into three parts. First, we propose our sequential attentive feature encoding to enrich the current point cloud with temporal information. Second, our backbone, which keeps the point cloud intact on the top level to mitigate information loss due to downsampling. The point clouds are processed in parallel streams and we enrich the point cloud on the top level with high level features from the parallel streams. Therefore, we are able to keep the point cloud intact, but also incorporate high level features. And third, our instance transformer head, where we propose an attention-based graph clustering to do the instance assignment. To illustrate the major advancements, we introduce our temporal encoding and the instance association in the following. For the sequential attentive feature encoding, we first pose align the previous scans to match static objects within the scene. Poses can be directly extracted from DGPS or SLAM algorithms. The aggregated past scans and the current scans are the input to our module. The point clouds include the X and Y coordinates, the Doppler velocities, and the radar cross-section values. The idea is to enrich the current scan with temporal information from past scans. To do so, we calculate vector attention, between the current point cloud and the past line point clouds. We aggregate the information from the past point clouds within local neighborhoods and add it to the current point cloud. As output, only the points of the current point cloud needs to be processed within our backbone, since now it includes the temporal information. This is a big advantage compared to simple aggregation because the number of point n remain the same and only the feature dimension is enriched with temporal information. To integrate the instance information, we propose attention-based graph clustering. First, we calculate attention weights between all points belonging to the moving class, where we want to predict a weight close to 1 for the same instance and close to 0 for different instances. This already helps to integrate instance information during training and further enhances segmentation performance. To determine the instance IDs, we then construct a radius graph and connect the points locally to reduce the interconnections. The final clustering of the radius graph includes the graph weights, which are the attention weights predicted by our network. We use modularity vertex clustering to remove the interconnection between the different instances indicated by low attention weights. The resulting clusters represent then the final instance IDs, as you can see here. 
We perform the evaluation on the radar scene's data set and compare our radar velocity transformer with state-of-the-art methods. The transformer-based methods enhance the performance compared to the voxel-based 4 DMOS, which suggests that this cryptization artifacts lead to information loss that cannot be compensated by additional temporal information of consecutive radar scans. Furthermore, all learning-based approaches outperform a simple velocity threshold due to the noise in the radar scans. Additionally, our model outperforms math 3 d which utilizes powerful mass predictions and other radar-specific methods such as the Gaussian radar transformer. Overall, we set a new state-of-the-art performance for moving instant segmentation in sparse and noisy radar point clouds. Furthermore, our approach performs well under different conditions, as illustrated here with the rainy scene and the more crowded street scene. We reliably detect the different moving instances, as can be seen in the reference image, and also reliably identifies the different instances within the scene. The design decisions of our network are backed up by ablation studies, which you will find in the original paper. To summarize, our model performs reliable moving instance segmentation and only needs sparse and noisy radar point clouds as input. We include temporal and instance information in our optimized architecture to outperform state-of-the-art approaches. More information can be found in our paper, which you can access via the QR code. Thank you for listening and special thanks to my co-authors and the reviewers.